I hope you are all fine. Today we have a very interesting question mm -hmm. and the question sounds if it's true that Egyptians cannot travel abroad unless they marry foreigner women. So in a short version, yes, it's really true. But I will explain you. There's a lot of exception and today we will discuss everything. Before we start, if you have any trouble with your Egyptian love and you need my help, I am offering meeting one-to-one -one as a call on Zoom. You can find all the information on my website, which will be written here. So don't be shy to contact me. I am definitely here for you to help you anytime you need. Now let's jump to the question directly. For the first time of my life, I know who I am. My heart belongs to no one but Egypt. It's because of their poetry of life and freedom. So yes, Egyptians really cannot travel abroad, but why? All people around the world know Egypt as an Islamic country, religious country. It's actually very nice, very fine, but the thing which we always forget to mention, or mostly, and I don't know why, but is the sentence that, that Egypt is not only an Islamic country, but in the first place is military country. You know, or if you don't know, Egypt has one of the best army in the world. Generally, yes, it's true. But for this reason, they want each of men, Egyptian men, to enter the army, right? Well, and here comes the problem, because Egyptian army is kind of very, very tough. Well, I will not describe the details, because I am not a man and I didn't experience it, so I'm speaking about this topic as a woman. Forgive me for that. However, because the army is really, really very tough, so a lot of young men don't want to enter the army. This is the first point which we have to realize or recognize. They don't want to go to the army and they try to escape. Well. And there are some conditions how to escape it. So one of the easiest way how to escape the army is for them to marry foreign lady. Okay, in the moment when they marry foreign lady or foreign woman, they don't have to go to army and they can travel abroad immediately. So that's why so many Egyptian young men try to foolish us and especially, sorry, but try to fool even elder women because it's much easier for them to fool elder woman who is desperate for love or has a bad experience, life experience. So mostly those women need a love and they are very easy to provide them. So it's easier for them to fool the elder woman than the young and naive one kind of. Well, now I ask you the very magic question, like what we foreign women have to come on with the army, right? Like why don't have to enter the army when they marry? as foreign ladies and the answer was very easy that the Egyptian men could potentially say the secret information from the army to the other country you know like a spy and they don't want it for sure which is very very logical I agree with this well so here you have the answer that's the reason why they try to marry foreign so often right because it's easier for them then of course we discussed already before the point of money and so on but the army can be also one of the other reasons why they do it well and at this point they don't have to be really scammers they can be even good men let's say but simply it's easier for them to marry us and escape from this i want to say that not always it can be about clear love which we are dreaming about or we believe in or hope but the egyptian always think very logically i want you to be aware of it you know, there are even some other ways how to escape the army. Another one can be if the Egyptian family has just one son. Let's say if it's only son in the family, so he is responsible for all the family or it counts that one day he will be responsible because his father is considered as old, so the son take his place. So this one he doesn't have to go to the army. And there's another case, in case, let's say, we have three brothers in the family and the parent, especially the father, is older than 60 years. So he's considered really like old man and he's not able to provide for the family anymore. So the oldest son doesn't have to go to the army because he also is considered as the provider of the family and he's responsible for them. But the other two, younger one, they have to go to the army already. Anyway, in the case of the one son or the eldest son, uh, they still have to go complete some days in the army, around two weeks, I believe, is it? Uh, just in case there will be a war in Egypt or anything. 
so they know where to go or how to handle stuff and so on. And now let's speak about how long the army takes. So it actually starts when you are 19 years old. When you have 19th birthday, you should apply for army. But if you study, especially university, so they will wait until you finish university and then you will enter the army. That's, I hope it's very clear. However, the army can take from one year till three years, depends on the education, let's say, what higher education you have, the less you are in the army and on a better position. And now here comes the magic. Once you finish the army, you get for sure some certificate to finish it. And then you can travel freely as you want. But then it's a matter of the money. Mostly for Egyptians to travel, they need to be kind of rich or from rich family. And they have to have some money in their bank and so on so on. It's kind of always complicated with the traveling in Egypt. However, I ask it what will happen in the case that the man will not enter the army. Like he'll try to hide even in Egypt anything. So it was told that if he doesn't enter the army, so he will not have the certificate from the army and that he finish it and he will not be able to apply for a job here or any official things. He simply needs the certificate from the army. So if he doesn't have it, he's not able kind of exit here in Egypt. Which well, is kind of scary, but at least they know who entered the army and who not. So many Egyptians, male, they try to escape the army because they're kind of afraid from it because Egyptian army or Alison is very hard. They, the training itself is very hard. But in the same time, to achieve, to have the best army in the world, they have to be hard, of course. But many young men are afraid from it, so they try to escape. And last point, how to do not enter the army. This is also interesting for us as a foreign woman. It's when we marry Egyptian and we have a son. So the son will not be able to enter the army as well because he has the foreign mother. The same point as with the foreign wife. They are afraid he can be spy, he can take out of the information. In case if something bad will happen in the army, they don't want to have any international problems with other countries. Well, and here came my question. I asked it, what about if I have a son and I'm a foreigner and we live in Egypt and I want him to enter the army? Like it's my own will or his own will to enter the army. And unfortunately, they told me even in this case, it will not be possible. That simply, if he has a foreign passport or certificate, mother is simply a foreigner. So they will not accept him from the same reason that he could be spy eventually. That's all information I found for you. I believe I didn't forget anything. However, let's go back to the very first question. I wanted to be aware from this point very much. All right? Because as I see, many, many women ask this question and they don't have the answer. And unfortunately, sometimes even married women to Egyptian already, they don't know this information, which I wanted to know and be aware of this before you go to a relationship with Egyptian men. Like, let's say I married here in Egypt when I was 20 years old, I was very young, but before I married I knew all of this information. Then it was really my own choice and decision to marry Egyptian and I wanted to be, in this point, the same. To have all your information in your hands, alright? But really don't be surprised why so many young Egyptian men trying to fool us foreign ladies. I don't say that if you meet some Egyptian man that he cannot truly love you. Of course he can, why not? But in the same time I wanted to know that not all the time it is really very very clear love. That Egyptians really think very logically. So this can also enter the relationship, the love. And you know if you decide to help him in this point, it's okay, I don't see anything wrong at the end. But however I don't want you to be fooled by this. Alright, I want you to know it and to be your own decision. So I hope I answered your question and looking forward for your new comments and see you next time.